All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete equipped for every good work. This is Watchman of Yah. In this dream, I was where I grew up, and I remember one of my neighbor, kind of a friend he was, but he was younger than me, he was also in my apartment. Now, my apartment was like a safe haven for anyone who, were, who was human. Um, what I remember was that the, it was a zombie zombie apocalypse, and um, the zombies were outside, and the people inside my home this was pretty much my own room, not my dad's room, my room. It was um, it was safe, and no one could come in. The zombies could not come in. Um, but I knew the people outside were zombies. Now, they look humans. They look like relatives and, and um, neighbors that we knew, but I knew they were zombies. So, now either there were already zombies that came from the grave or humans that had been taken over, but I could tell there were zombies. Now, one of them I also knew. It was the father of the of the person, of the, the friend I talk, spoke about. He was a younger friend of mine, kind of a friend. Anyway, he was in um, he was in the room with me, but he was concerned for his father. And I told him, that man is not your father anymore. He is not your father. He was really, really wanting that man to come inside. I said, no, everybody out there is a zombie. And they were, you know, appealing to the people inside of my room that were hiding with me and said, please let me in. Please let me in. It's me. Let me in. And, and you know, the people inside... They have to believe me or they will be taken over too because if you open it off for these things, they invade it. And I was trying to let them know. What I think this one was on this guy, the boy I was talking about, was the only person I was having a problem with convincing that this is not your father. And But he wasn't listening to me. And I think I don't remember the entirety of a dream right now. I think it was that he was trying to, he was almost trying to open the door and I was forcing the door closed and say, that is not your father. Now, they couldn't just invade my home. They could not. They didn't have the power to do it. But they were appealing to those inside of my home to open the door for them. Um, that's the what I remember. And um, so the only thing I can say here is that this zombie apocalypse that's coming and it is coming. Those who mock, let them mock. I'm never afraid or ashamed to tell you the truth. It's going to come. And the only way to defeat them will be the wood that represents the cross of Yahushua, our Savior. The wood represents the cross. Now, no physical weapon is going to walk on them. You cannot kill a spiritual being with a, a physical weapon. That is a joke. It's kind of funny how you think you can actually kill a spirit with weapons like the movies now and and the games and everything is a mockery and a joke they're making they're mocking you the only one who can defeat satan and the hordes of satan is yahushua and the only weapon of faith we're going to use in those days is going to be the wood that represent the cross that yahushua hung for our deliverance our salvation and we anoint that wood with oil and we already have ours and so you anoint it with oil and keep anointing it every day until that very day it will come. These zombies are going to come from the ground. They are going to be um, demons raised in from hell, entering the bodies of those who are already in hell. The bodies of those who are buried, they are going to raise up as relatives and families. They are going to raise up as people you know. And also they are going to be able to take over the people who are alive who are not saved. That means if they bite you or claw you or whatever, they're going to be able to invade humans who are not saved. Now, those who are saved will not be affected by this. And those who are not mucking this message will not be affected by this. Especially when you act in faith. First, you have to be saved. This message is not for your, um, it's not to scare you. There is encouragement here. If you believe in the Son of Almighty Father, Yahweh God, and believe He died for your sin, confess your sin, you must know you are a sinner, repent of your sins, ask that He save you, that His blood cleanse you, and receive this by faith. Romans 10, 9 and 10 say that. Believe with all your heart, confess with your mouth, and you'll be saved. And it's, salvation is that simple. You first must recognize that you're a sinner, and then call 
Yahushua wa Mashiach to save you. Pray the prayer of repentance. Ask him to forgive you your sins. Do this knowing that you are a sinner, not because you're only just scared. Fear should not be your motivation. But if it motivates you to be saved and change, okay. But I don't think fear should be your motivation. Acknowledging that you are a sinner who needs help, who needs God's salvation. His son, Yahushua, is the best motivation. But whatever gets you saved, I think I support it. Now, but what I'm saying now, why am I saying that you need to be saved? You need to be saved for you to be able by faith to use that word to defeat zombies. Because sinners are not going to be defeating zombies. <laughs> I don't know. Sinners, those who mock God, those who disobey God are not going to. This is not a magic wand. These are, this, this, is, this is a cross. You don't even believe that you need salvation. You don't even believe in the Son of God and you're going to use a word that represents salvation. To defeat zombies it it'll be a joke the same way you'll be using guns remember the seven sons of skiva i believe that's the name skiva and i'm going to put the scripture down there they were going to cast out demons from a man that was possessed because paul was doing it in the name of yahushua and what did that man say yes yahushua i know paul i know you who are you and he beat them beat them up until they escaped so you don't think you can just go challenge demons and the devil without being saved. And by the way, you don't really challenge, but you come in the name of Yahushua because you are his and you are saved. And that is when by faith, anything you do in his name will work. It says, submit yourself to Yahushua and resist the devil and he shall flee. First submit, that means you have to be saved. And yes, then by faith, you use that word that represents your salvation, anointed with the oil to defeat the zombies. Well, um, so I just want you to hear this message is very important. And the most important thing is your salvation. The most important thing is that you be ready for what is coming and you need to be saved and you need to have the faith. Faith without works is dead and the works is the action when you pick up that wood that represents your salvation, that represents the cross of Yahushua by which the devil has been defeated and sin has been defeated. All our enemies has been defeated by that cross. And that is what that would represent. It's an act of faith. Go through the scriptures. You see an act of faith. Five fish, two, uh, five loaves of bread and two fish eggs. And when um, uh, throughout the scriptures, it's faith. You see the actions of faith using material things by faith. And so when we come to God by faith and what he has already told us, you don't have to do anything special except what he has told you. And what he has told you is that it is going to be that word that represents the cross of Yahushua. So this is my dream and I don't want to um, take too long just letting you know the most important thing is that you be saved and that you believe and that when you believe nothing is impossible in Yahushua's name. All praise, honor, and glory for this message goes to the Holy Trinity. Rabbi Yahweh, a.k.a. God the Father, Yahushua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the Ruach HaKodesh, a.k.a. the Holy Spirit. Remember the Lord chastises, which is to correct and discipline those he loves. If this message is a blessing to you, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with someone you love.